Hi everyone, it's Tammy and it is Friday morning. Um, I have the flu, I'm hurting everywhere. Um, I'm very tired, but I know you guys were anxious to see um, the things that Steve picked out. Don't mind what I look like. I wanted to go get my nails and put them on and I'm just drained. Okay, um, this is bag. Uh, I'll go from the back. So this is bag one, 105. And this is all done in maple at the back. Um, this is the maple wood. It's beautiful. It's got like a um, varnish on the top of it. And then this is what the front looks like. It's a beautiful necklace. There's a lot of luster to it, you can see. And then it has the black um, beads and then it has the spring clasp. And for this one, I wanted 30. He got some really nice things, but we had to, he had to pay a little more for them than we normally do. Um, because he, I think he went to an antique store and there's different vendors. Um, anyway, this is 106. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't think you're going to find one of these anywhere. This is the, um, the zebra. And it's the black and white beads on the side. It's very different. And then you've got um, two white, two black down the other side. It's nice and long. It has a couple of uh, gold accent beads in there. It's really, really pretty, and it's very different. And this one I wanted 55. When they're different, the vendors put the prices up on them, that's for sure. But it's worth it because you're not going to see them. This is 107. This is absolutely gorgeous as well. It's got a lot of weight to it. It's very old. Um, it has the shepherd's clasp on it and then the little um, accent bead there. And then this is what that one looks like. Oh, my nails. It has two pearls in each upper, like across from each other and then it has two rhinestones or crystals whatever those are the stone is beautiful it does not feel like plastic um, look at the back it's it's thick whatever they used as the metal is just beautiful that's the top now this part here has a accent uh, rhinestone at the top and then it has the black bead in the middle and look at how that is it's faceted. You're not going to lose the stones in this piece. It, um, it is adjustable. And that's what that one looks like. Not the nicest thing with what I'm wearing. <laughs> but anyway, it's beautiful. And for this one, I wanted 55. And if you guys like something and you feel that you know, you feel my price is too high, please just give me an offer. Um, if I accept it, I accept it. If I don't, we'll work something out. Because you know I have to move these pieces. This is bag 108. And this is a Lucite. Um, I thought it was Bakelite, but it's Lucite, which was made after Bakelite. It has the um, elastic uh, band in it. Um, all of the stones are beautiful. They have no um, nicks or, um, look at that. And you know, every one of these are different. And that's what that one looks like. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. Um, the Lucite and the Bakelite, it's just the softest, softest plastic. It's beautiful. And this one, they had, um, this is what they have written on. It is the vintage Lucite um, bracelet. And it's valued at $60. I have it right on here. And I'll go 40 you guys. Okay. And then this is absolutely stunning. This is 109. I can't believe this piece. And I've never seen one like it. It's very long, so you can double it up. But just look at this. You see how well made that is? That bar goes right through the center of that. And then on the side it has like a coppery brass. 
then it has the nice uh, beads. These are, I believe these are glass. That's how I check. I knock them on my teeth. But anyway, it goes all the way up like that with all of those beautiful, look at, look at when the sun or the light hits it. And then these are all gorgeous glass beads in here as well. So you can double it up. It is very well made. You can feel the, um, the weight to those larger um, glass beads here that you see through. And for this one, I wanted 45. This is really neat, guys. This is the bag 110. It is absolutely stunning. Look at this. Look at the work in these, all these beads, pearls, faux pearls. And it has the spring clasp on it. And I'm just going to put it around my neck just to give you an idea. Sorry if I'm slow. So this is about where it would go. I just don't want to clasp it. I, I have no uh, patience for that right now. And that's what that one looks like. It's beautiful. And then for this one, I wanted 40. Okay, and then bag... Uh, 111. These are so pretty. They're like an opalescence yellow. Um, can you see that? All those different colors. It picks up like a peach and it just picks up what you're wearing. It's beautiful. It's beautifully made in between. They're on there good. It has the spring clasp and they're so pretty. You can see it in the light. The opal. Kind of. And for that one, I wanted 12. Okay, and then I have bag 112, and these are um, beads as well with the different um, type of bead here, which is really cool. And look at that color. It's just like a, I don't know, it goes, it, to me, it's like a green, and then it it looks like a green or a blue. It's so pretty. And again, this one's very well made. And for that one, I wanted 12. And then I have bag 113. These, uh, these are marked Hong Kong. Um, you know, I had a few really nice uh, necklaces from Hong Kong. Um, these are also vintage. This is very old. Um, it's marked Hong Kong on there. And these are glass, all glass beads. And then there's some different colors in those square ones. With the same kind of enamel. I believe there's this is enamel painting on those beads. I'm pretty sure. And for this one, I wanted 25. And you can double it up as well. This would look so nice with a, a black blouse or sweater. Um, this is bag 114. This is very old. This is what it looks like. The blue bead there. And then these are really old stones. And then you can just tell because look at the bottom. This is the way it was made. This is a lovely piece. And for this one, I wanted 12 as well. And then this bag here is 115. This is gorgeous. It's um, different size uh, faux pearls in it. It's long. Um, again, you know, this is in for the fall and for winter. Um, the layering of the um, the beads and the collar necklaces. So it's all back to kind of the vintage <clears throat> the vintage look. You can do it two, three times. It's very long. And it's got it's um, got the silver 
um, hooks. And for this one, um, I wanted 12 as well. And then these pieces were just odd pieces that I picked up um, that I didn't show. This is on a leather strap and I didn't fix this so that it was ready to show. So just a second. I'll show it to you. You'll get the idea of it. This is the beads in it. Beautiful purple, lavender, all different colors in those tiny little beads that are on there. And I'm not answering that. Anyway, that's beautiful. And for that one, I wanted 10. And we'll make that bag 116. I have to do this as I go, sorry. Okay, and then I have this necklace. I'm sorry it's a lot of necklaces, but that's just what Steve picked up. And then there's this one, which is a stone that has been hand painted. And that's what that one looks like. It's got some wood beads on there. And that's the clasp on it. And for that one, I wanted 12. And that'll be bag 117, please. If you can use the bags, that helps me a lot. And I didn't get a chance, you guys, to go and edit and tell you all what was sold on the sale the other day. I've just been worn out. Okay, um, this one's all done in pearls. This is what the clasp looks like. It's a button clasp. It's all done in beautiful, beautiful um, black beads.